Networking tips. Hey, this is Shelly Mitchell. I'm obviously a, sending you a shout out from Florida and I've got some networking tips for you again. I'm with my personal business coach is my company, mypersonalbusinesscoach.com and also Center of Influence Women's Network and that's Center of Influence Women's Network.com. So got some tips for you, and here is a one for those of you who want to be speakers or who are speakers, you're going to love this one, and those of you who don't want to be speakers and would rather have your toenails pulled out and stuck in your eyeballs and have to speak in front of a bunch of people, you may not like this one, but this is the number one tip that has grown 99% of my client, private client's business. So before you choose a networking group to become a member of, as you're out exploring different networking groups, either locally and in your community, or you're even looking at other events and conferences that are going on, whether it's local, regional, state, or even international and national uh, industry-related organizations, before you actually go and attend these, find out what it would take for you to be a speaker, whether you need to do an application and get hired as the speaker, or you have to pay to play. And oftentimes you have to become a sponsor and you have to uh, submit an application to be able to speak at these events. So why would I want somebody who is quiet, shy, doesn't want to speak in front of other people, but they just really want to grow their business so they can go back to their office and do the work? Well, the reason I have them do that, and I've done this with several, many clients actually, but two come to mind, which is Don Burke and Lorianne Stepp. One's a clutterologist, she's a personal organizer, and the other one's a graphic designer. So they'll even tell you, the only reason I speak is because Shelly makes me. So if you think about about the last time you were in a networking group or an event uh, listening to a speaker at a workshop you automatically assume psychologically that they're an expert in their field if the event planner thought enough of them to bring them to this so I could hear them speak and they're teaching me they're automatically an expert in their field so speaking automatically positions you as an expert at what you're doing so even if you're just getting started, and I kind of joke about this, I said, if you go to a small meetup group where it's just two ladies and a dog, that's okay. Do it anyway. Before you join a group, try to become a speaker. A lot of people don't tell you this, but a lot of groups don't look for their members to be speakers. They look for outside people. So if you go join a networking group thinking that you're going to be able to speak there, it may not happen because they tend to bring in people from outside. There are also some groups that only bring from the inside, but you have to check and really be clear on that. So one, position yourself as an expert, then you can also get your message out to a room full of people versus one-on-one -on -one when you're meeting people while you're at the networking group. Plus, they've already seen that person is standing at the front of the room as the expert in their uh, industry or in their, they're an expert authority at what they do. So try to become a speaker. Simple phone call. It's not necessarily that you need a speaker sheet or anything like that for some of the smaller groups. Uh, the larger conferences you do, you need videos and speaker sheets. Now, if you're going to be a speaker or if you have been a speaker and you feel like you did a great job and you had a great talk and even people came up to you and said, oh my gosh, that was so wonderful. I really enjoyed it and you don't really get anything out of it, it's because you don't have a talk that converts. So, and that's what I work with all my clients, is I teach them how to convert. And someone asked me what that means, and I said, well, that's a problem if we didn't know what convert means. But what it does is even if you're speaking for free and you can't sell anything and you can't make an offer or you can't do a call to action, I teach you how to capture those leads, how to build your list, how to create a funnel where you can work on building a relationship with them and eventually getting clients. You know, even doing just a simple webinar, I took Dawn Burke, who we had seven people sign up for her webinar, five showed up, and with the offer that I created for her, within six months of that, we tracked over $10,000 from that one webinar. You can do the same thing at a local lunch group speaking if you can get in there the right way. So if you have any questions about that, give us a call. Look us up at mypersonalbusinesscoach.com. We can certainly help you strategize that and help you get out there and speak more. And we can help you create that talk that's going to convert and it's going to position you as the expert who you truly are. If you think about the last time you were doing it, even if it was a landscaper standing up, you're going to think he has got to be the best landscaper in the world if he's a speaker. So we're all experts in our industry or you wouldn't even be listening to this. But this is how you're able to position yourself in doing that. So even if you have a two-minute, five-minute, or ten-minute if you are a woman who has reached a certain level of success in her career, uh, you're involved in the community, or you have a business, and you find it challenging to go to networking events where you're meeting people who are at your level, but not 
to be at here versus here, but who understand your unique challenges and also your unique opportunities. And you want a way to be able to connect with these women, meld your circles of influence, and really expand your impact then go and check us out at circleofinfluencewomensnetwork.com. We are a private, exclusive, invitation-only women's networking group that are for leaders, uh, leaders who have their own business, leaders who work in the community for nonprofits, who are leaders of their life and leaders of the um, of the community who have integrity and are making a big impact. So we'd love to have you join us. You have to request for an uh, invitation. We have a lot of fun. It's very purposeful. We don't waste your time. We know how busy you are and you're out there saving the world. So join us. You'll have a lot of fun with Center of Influence Women's Network. Have a great day and let's go speaking.